All right, it's 2025 and today we are finally going to learn how to render the current date correctly. Let's use this example with copyright statements, which is a very painful thing for apparently every website on the, on the internet. So how do we render this date in a way that is always up to date? It is rendered server side, it isn't getting replaced on the client, you don't get the flash of the wrong date or a flash of nothing and it's using correct semantic HTML for accessibility and search engines. First step is to fetch the current date from the server. We need to fetch the date from the server instead of generating it on the client because otherwise we are going to get the flash of the wrong date or an empty string. Let's add a data variable and call it current date. We use the system resource and we use the current date. Now if I hit load data, we're going to see the date as data fetched dynamically. This is going to render server side. Don't worry, it's not going to fetch it from the client. Now that we have fetched the current date and stored it in a variable, we need to render it. To render it, I am going to insert the time component, which is this one. I'm going to use the date we have previously defined by creating a binding on the date time property. I'm going to hit current date dot data dot and in this case I can use timestamp I can also use the year or the ISO I'm gonna choose ISO and now we are already rendering the date we just rendered a semantic date using the time HTML element that is designed to render dates and time now we want to format this year to render just a year we have the format property that allows us to say exactly how the year is going to be formatted. We have uh, all sorts of options to express that. In this case, we need a four digit year number. That's it. And now we want to place this instead of the built-in text. I'm going to need to split this text in three parts. First is the copyright. Wrap this pen, click out, and then you have this pen. And then I'm going to remove the rest of it from here and insert another span right here. Provide the second part of the text and remove the date. And now we just need to drag the date between and provide some space. Now this copyright has three parts. The copyright symbol the time component and the rest of the text. Now we have formatted the year and rendered it inside of the text. 